All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Omen 45L gaming desktop. All right, so the SSD in here went bad. They actually already changed the SSD, but I figured let me show you it. All right, so first thing, we're going to have to lift it up here. There's a button here. You press that, and then once you press that, this tips forward, and you can pull this out. Okay. Let's lay this back down. All right, I'm not going to really show everything, everything in here, but um, the other side also has a door on it. All right, we don't really need to take the other side out unless we're going to be, like, replacing things. Um, you can see they have the lighting connections here for the fans. <clears throat> There's a SATA connection to it. You got all these other... Um, this is the LED board. I believe this is for the switch. And then this probably goes to the USB port. Actually, this probably goes to the USB port. There's so many uh, power LED, channel 2, logo. Oh, this is for the logo light, and then I think this goes to the USB, right? There's also a SATA connection here for some reason, but it's not used by anything. And you have access to two 3.5 inch SATA hard drive slots here. Um, you got two 2.5 uh, two inch uh, SATA hard drives or SSDs. And you got the um, power supply there. All right, anyways, let's put this back on. Okay, line it up. You want to line up this part down here, get the bottom in first, and then you can push that back on. All right, let's flip this back over. Okay, so this is just going to be a kind of quick video. I'm going to show how to remove the... Uh, video card because that's kind of a little tricky um, The RAM is like every other you just pull these tabs. All right, there's one up here and then I don't know if you can even reach it Okay, the bottom doesn't actually have a tab So you just pull the top one and then you can actually pull the stick of RAM out Okay, just like that. So that's what the RAM looks like. This is a 16 gig stick and XMP5 5200 all right, so Basically DDR5 5200. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back. So I like to start with the stationary little clip. I know, sorry, it's far away. And then I drop the other one in. Make sure it lands in the right spot. Okay, you might have to lift the other. You might have to lift this side up a little so that it goes in straight. Because if it's crooked, then it's actually a little bit longer sticking out. All right, now that we got that in, we're going to just click and click make sure you click both sides you can push one at a time if you want you don't have to try and push both okay you got the usb let me actually show you a close up of this okay this is for the usb 3 ports on the front panel or the top uh what is that that's probably the buttons for like the power button and the activity lights there's a power supply uh 24 pin uh power supply connection uh, you got the fan, two fan connections there. Sorry, it's not focusing. Uh, what is this? More fans? Okay, more fans there. There's an extension or a splitter here. And this is the pump, liquid cooling pump. Obviously, the liquid cooler. There's a CPU under there. Okay, you got one fan here. You got the whole liquid cooling thing up in there. I'm not going to mess with that more fans up under there all right anyways let's go ahead and remove the um gpu you can see there's a sata connector there for the sata i'm not sure what they're using that for and then more connections here what's that i can't see it's too small more lighting yeah so more lighting and then another fan connection there all right, all right. Let's go ahead now and get to the GPU. All right, give me a second. Let me get this back on the tripod. All right. So there are actually a lot of screws to remove to get the GPU out. We're gonna use a PH2, or I don't think there's a JS2, but we're gonna use a PH2 screwdriver to remove all the screws. Okay. There are three screws. So this has a little clip that you need to pinch. And then while you pinch it, you kind of have to wiggle it side to side to pull it out, just like that. You can see, all right. Okay, so there's obviously four screws visible here. So we're going to remove those four. 
All right, and you're gonna need a pretty long skinny screwdriver, so keep that in mind uh, if you're gonna be doing this because there are two screws at the bottom underneath this metal plate. Okay. Get those out. Okay, got those four. To remove this plate, there's actually only two screws on this side, but there's a third one that's also holding in the um, GPU. So you do need to remove all those screws. Okay, we're gonna remove the two down here. All right, I know you can't really see, but Hopefully you get the idea. We're just removing the screws holding this metal bracket down. Okay, so now that we got those all six screws here, we can actually lift this metal thing out. This is because this GPU is so big and heavy. Um, they want to hold it really tight so it doesn't bounce around and destroy itself. So you can see there's only two screws there. We'll set that aside. And then there's one more screw up here that we got to remove to loosen this. Okay, and then like I mentioned earlier, there are two screws hidden down here. Okay, so make sure you get those two as well. They're all the way at the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be hard now because I can't see. Uh, okay, here's one. I don't even know what you guys can see, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, we'll get that screw out. Also keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. And you can damage something if you mix them up, so it's very important to keep them in order. All right. So the screws at the bottom there, you can see they're flat like this, okay? And then they're about that length. All right. And then the other six, they have this like rounded top like that, look like that. Well, not all other six. Let me see. I think one was different. Actually, are they all the same? Okay, those six are actually all the same. And then obviously the one at the very top that's just, uh, sorry, the one that's at the very top here holding the GPU is different because it's not going into that bracket. We're gonna flip this over now, just so you can see a little bit better. So the GPU, just like every other motherboard, has this little push latch. Um, the GPU has like an L bracket and that thing clamps over. So basically you're pushing this to unlatch it, okay? This doesn't usually come out easily. Like I can't just push on it. So usually what you have to do is you grab the GPU and you kind of wiggle it as you're pushing on it. And you should feel that latch kind of fall down. Um, actually, is it unlatched still? Okay, it was unlatched still. So you got to push on this down. Okay, you heard it click. So apparently you have to manually lift it back up. If it didn't seem to go on on its own. All right, so I'm gonna push on this. You can see if I push on it really hard, it's not moving. So we gotta kind of wiggle this. Sometimes you gotta lift it up and push it down. It's very difficult to push this latch. And there we go. Now unlatch, and then you kind of just grab this and you kind of wiggle and pull it up, and there we go. There's the GPU. See, here's the L bracket I was talking about. Yeah. GeForce RTX. It doesn't even say what model RTX this is. It just says RTX. All right, so underneath there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, the wireless card. I'm not going to show how to remove um, the wireless card and stuff, but uh, the SSD we probably, well, I'll probably leave that one under there. All right. To remove that, you need to switch actually to a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. And then there's one screw here. There's a thermal pad underneath that you got to kind of carefully pull up on and then it comes out. All right. You have to very slowly lift it out. There we go. That's the SSD. The original factory one is right here. This is the factory. It's a Western Digital Black. I'm going to have to test these. Um, there's a CR2032 uh, BIOS CMOS battery here. Um, just like all the other models. Actually, this one seems difficult to remove. Uh, I don't want to mess with it, but uh, yeah, it looks like there's plastic clips on round on all four sides, so I'm not sh too sure how you would 
get that out. But uh, anyways, I'm going to test this and then we're going to put it back together. But basically to put it back together, you just do everything in reverse. Not very difficult to do. All right. So let me test these and I'll see you guys. All right. I'm back. We've got a new SSD now. So let's go ahead and install this. They got the Samsung 990 Pro with the heatsink, two terabytes. All right, so let's get this opened. Okay. I cut the thing in advance, but let's take it out. Oh, it's falling out of the tray. Where'd it go? Where's the plastic piece that goes on top? Did they stop putting that? It's weird. All right, so here's the SSD, okay? So hopefully this thing doesn't make it take too much and then because they have this, uh, what do you call a thermal pad there? But let's go ahead and see. We'll put that in. It goes in at an angle. Okay. Oops, sorry, I know it's far away. Let me zoom in a bit. I don't know if flash will help in this case. Kind of. Okay. There you go. It just goes in like that. And then this goes down. Wow, that thermal pad. I don't know. That thermal pad might be an issue. Let's see. So it goes down. That thermal pad gonna be a problem. I hope not. Okay, I'm just pushing the whole SSD down, and then we'll get the screw in. Well, they have the thermal pad there, so I'll just leave it. Hopefully, it's not putting too much pressure on this connector, like pulling it up. Um, but there's the SSD back in. Let's go ahead now and put back the video card. So pretty straightforward. We just put it back the opposite way that we took it out. So get this in. You just lower it down um the only tricky part let me flip it over it'll be easier to see okay so you gotta um make sure to line that up so just grab this okay line that up make sure you can see that this is going into the slot properly and then push it in and that's pretty much it again for some reason this thing's not auto clicking into place I don't know why, so I'm going to get my finger in there and then pull that up. All right, that was kind of weird. I don't know why it doesn't auto-click. Normally, if you push it in all the way, it clicks itself up into place. All right, oops, we trapped this under there. Don't make sure this doesn't get stuck under there. Okay, so we got that. Next thing we got to do um, is get this bracket, metal bracket, back on top. Just... Oh, sorry. No, that's not the next thing we got to do. The next thing we got to do is get the two screws down there back in okay so i don't know what you'll be able to see but hopefully you can see it i'm going to switch back over to the ph2 all right and we'll get that screw lined up and into there that one and the second one again these are the flat screws okay line that up i can't see sorry now you probably can't see, but I can't see, so. Okay, then we'll get that screw in. And then get this screw in. There we go. Now that we got that, we can put the metal bracket on top. Just like this. And then we can plug in the power cable for this. Make sure you line it up right. Come on. Okay. Click that in. All right. It should click. And then we'll just get all these screws back in. So put that in. This in. I just loosely fit it first if you didn't notice. Okay, the reason I do that is just in case there's a little wiggle room. Sometimes you see how it wiggles around like that. You don't want to tighten it down and then after that you won't be able to adjust it to the right spot. Okay. Alright, then we got the three for the other side here. Yeah, you can't really see that. down there and get the screws in. Okay. And f 
for the screws, I like to put the one all the way at the top first and then push up on the GPU slightly. So that way the GPU is um, kind of as high up as possible, not sagging down from the weight. Okay. So you got that one and you can see this is still loose. Okay. Then we got to get these last two in. Hopefully, I don't know what you can see, but. Come on. Let's see where it's going. Maybe lift this up slightly. Yeah, that helped. Okay. Got that screw in again. I just loosely fit it first. And the last one here. Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead. You can see it doesn't wiggle as much. We can tighten this all the way down. That one. This one. Okay. Oops. And the other four. And then since we replaced the SSD, obviously we're going to have to reinstall Windows. To do that, you create a USB Windows installer with another computer. And then you boot from it by pressing F9 while you're starting up the computer. It will let you select the boot device, uh, select your USB, and then follow the on-screen instructions. Um, if you don't want to log in with a Microsoft account, I have a way to do that. Um, if you want, just let me know and I will tell you how to get that video. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and put the glass panel back on. Pretty simple, straightforward. All right. So there, and the glass panel just goes like this. You start with the base, obviously, get it lined up, okay, and then click it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on my channel on those videos as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.